Right, welcome to part three. Angry Dad here. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> right. Anyway, so um, you'll see in a minute where we're at. We're in um, basically Bates Motel. So nothing works. Everything's a little bit old. Very, very dated. Um, everyone feels a little bit dirty. I think that's safe to say. Yeah. Dirty, but it's, it's not nice anyway but we'll go into that in a little bit later on anyway so hopefully in the next couple of days because this is actually day two because day one we was all too tired went straight to bed uh, today we've walked about 18 miles and done god knows how many different shops um, but you'll see um, that will make sense in a minute anywho onwards Intrepid. Right, what you can't see from that, because that could just be any old propeller, but if I stand in front of it, oh my god, it's massive! Go on in, take your place, shoot down the kamikazes. No? Can you, does it move? No, it moves left to right though. A little bit. Yeah. Not, not up and down? Yeah. No, I think it's like an eyesore if you just... You can't even pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like seaweed. <laughs> wicked. 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 Most wicked. What is it? The blackbird? <laughs> under a wing. Now, it's not the first time I've seen this in real life.
Okie dokie, a little bit of a New York summer. Okay, so I'm only dad back in again. Right, so made some notes, so I'll try not to forget everything. Okay, so the hotel was very disappointing. It was old, it was worn out. The taps went the wrong way, which totally wound me up every time I used them. The bath and the shower was old, it was grubby, it made you feel dirty every time you came out of it. Apart from anything else, when you got in it, the floor of the uh, the the, uh, the bathtub sort of squidged down. It was like spongy. Like a water mattress. What? <laughs> yeah, like a water mattress. Yeah. It's grim. Anyway, that was a room. So um, the, um, the the safe didn't work. So it worked the first couple of days, but when you uh, opened it again, it just st stayed open. The kids' bedroom that didn't work full top uh, at all. Um, the key for the kids bedroom that was always a break and we had that replaced twice then there was a the queuing in the morning for the coffee okay so that could take anywhere up to half hour okay the coffee was better than it was in the room uh, if you did have the one in the room that was that was pretty grim um, but at least it didn't take half hour to make uh, New York itself is very busy that is to be expected it's just like the main city there's a lot of walking a hell of a lot of walking but you need to do a lot of walking because the only food that you can get is crap and it is crap what you're getting is um, chips with everything or um, pizza or uh, just rib meats constantly it was utter rubbish um, and on the subject of food it was bloody expensive when you just had a, a, a reasonably priced uh, meal in say Applebee's that um, is one of the cheaper ones and that was like $160 before you've got fleeced for a tax because they don't pay their people properly um, every restaurant we went in now this isn't just New York this was this was Florida um, and on the cruise as well and um, they want you in and out but every meal came like within like minutes like and you was in and um and you was like given your uh the check to leave um like straight away there was no asking if you want desserts if you wanted to sit around have another drink or anything like that and the only place that we really had a, a reasonable meal was an in an indian um and it was a good indian um, yeah and that was nice and it was relaxed and it was friendly really good so New York City is just like London but it has no culture there's nothing there it is literally just fleecing you from any bit of money and it's all right if you want to go shopping all the time if you want to go shopping great <laughs> so that's number one she wanted to go shopping fine but there's only so much shopping you can do because you've only got a certain weight allowance in your suitcase to bring stuff back unless you go and buy pajamas and then <laughs> and then wear pajamas um, so if you're in, interested in shopping that's fine but if you're on holiday uh, and you want to do things and see things yeah um, yeah so will I be back probably not for other people wanting to go make sure you do your homework make sure you know where you want to go make sure you've got your little um, tick lists of places to go like we went to the 9-11 remo uh, memorial that we wanted to do I wanted to go on to the Intrepid so I did that um, other than that <laughs> the shops are the same and the prices are the same as back home and um, yeah anyway if you've got any questions feel free to ask you know what else they should make sure of what's that that they're a millionaire they can spend as much money no, yeah. as they want yeah millionaires oh yeah right so top tip <laughs> don't let the wife go to the sandwich shop in the airport because you're 80 pounds light or don't go to the airport uh, sandwich shop at all and food. get your exactly. food somewhere get, else get, get your food first yeah. good point number two right any other points um, toodles